What's up guys? Welcome back to another Team Soul and Circus deck profile here. Today we're going over Heroes. I've been playing this deck a little bit, as you will see on the channel. As well as, this is one of the decks we have been featuring for next week's Blue Eyes versus Dark Magician for the 25th century, um, or 25th year, quarter century Legacy Collection drop. We featured a bunch of Dark Magician as well as Blue Eyes duels, um, with Heroes being the third deck in the mix here. This is not the exact copy of the deck we are playing. This is a meta version of the deck. We are playing a very char characteristic kind of uh, kind of duels next week. So stay tuned for that. Before we dive in, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll show you what we got. We are playing the two Stratos. You don't need any more than two. Um, you can play three if you really want to, but you know we are cutting down on a lot of the hero stuff. Same with the two Shadow Misks. I don't know if I'm going to need it. This deck searches so much, um, so there's not really that much of a point. We are on the one uh, Liquid Soldier. This card uh, is crazy. Even though something it or using it as fusion material is absolutely busted. It also helps you go into your um, your absolute zero, which is a powerhouse. That's it for the E heroes. We are on the three uh, Ferris for the Vision heroes, as well as the two Vion and the one increase. I definitely think of bumping this up to two. If any card in the deck would change, it would probably be this to two. Um, when you see it in your hand, it absolutely sucks, and you know you can pitch it for the Ferris, but the problem is that you can't recur it onto the field. So playing a second copy, because you always draw this card, um, and Violence absolutely busted as well. Don't know what they were thinking with that one. For the D heroes, Destiny heroes, we are playing the two Mali. Bring this back to three Konami. I dare you. We play the one Denier. Absolutely insane card. Like this card is just busted. The Plasma and the Dark Angel. This is just for locking your spells. This is an FTK versus Branded. So uh, definitely play this. Make sure you always put this in defense system, by the way. You don't want them to be able to crash into your stuff. Then we are playing for Hand Traps. We're playing the three Ash Blossom and the two Ghost Ogre. This is a uh, underrated card, I guess I should say. You know, this might be a little bit debatable. Um, you could play Bells instead or the Veilers. But this card's absolutely busted, I believe, in this format. Like, being able to hit some of the most powerful cards in, like, the like your matchups. Like, hitting Brandon Loss isn't too bad. Um, hitting Albion is also not horrible because you get it off the field. So they can't tag out into Lubelion. Hitting a normal summon of Albaz is just crazy. Um, what else? So you can hit in Tashtir. You can hit the Birth. You can hit uh, the Shangri-La, which is going to be mandatory in the standby phase. As well as hitting the Arise Heart isn't that bad as well. And of course, any of the uh, actual cashier monsters, but that's not as good. Um, then Sprite, obviously hitting Gigantic is crazy versus that. It just makes it so that I can't play. Um, I don't really know what else to hit. You know, anything really? This deck is super versatile in the thing. You constantly be able to see a target for this deck, as or for this card, as long as you're able to, uh, to play correctly. Um, but if you guys want to cut it out, obviously you can. It's just what works for me. Then for the spells, we are on a Hero Lives. It's at three, so we play it at three. Uh, mass Change. If you ever play any less than three of this, then you're not playing a Hero deck. And then Fusion Destiny. Uh, busted card. Obviously play three of it. And then we are on the one Miracle Fusion. Um, I actually really like this card, to be honest. I think it's a super underrated card, and it's super sick. You know, Switched Off Sunrise is also so free. Then for the uh, non-generic hero stuff, we are on the two polymerizations. You could definitely cut this down to one. I think if I wanted to play another increase, I would cut down the polymerization. We are on the one Rota, and then the ta uh, the Thrust, as well as the two Talents here. Um, thrust is crazy, this format. Everyone's playing it. You could definitely cut down the Tactic as well. Play another Hand Trap, play another Ogre if you wanted to. Um... In this deck, it's kind of crazy because if you get hand traps or you get like hit with something, you can actually set any of like the. Like, I guess you can if you add the fusion destiny. It's kind of crazy, but a lot of the time, like you'll get hand traps and it's gonna, like nib, for example. And being able to play through nib is kind of nice. And then we are on the three imperm for the final trap, and like this is something you can also set. You can be able to set the imperm, and that's gonna be that. Definitely uh, 40 cards for the main deck. Definitely a nice tight fit main deck there. Not much you'd change. For the extra deck here, we are on the Sunrise. 
Um, you only need one of these. Cash Giro actually rips this a lot, which I think is interesting. And then we are on the one Wake Up Your Elemental Hero. Absolutely busted card from Maze of Memories. I love this card. Um, it just enables FTKs like left, right, and center. Crazy card. The one absolute zero. Another card that uh, that I see Cash Giro ripping a lot. I know they went for this twice um, when I played it when I was testing. Uh, I don't think I'd play two of it, but you know, if you guys want to, go ahead. We are playing the Shining, definitely cuttable card. Um, I would cut this as well as the Escrato if I was looking to play other stuff. Like if I wanted a second Absolute Zero, Shining would absolutely come out for that. I just like this card personally. And then the Escrato, same thing here. I like these two a lot myself. Then we are only two Dark Laws, um, super mandatory. If you're playing less than two, then you're not doing something right. I could actually see people playing three of these because of Cash Gear ripping it. Um, it's just such a crazy card. Like, Cash Gear doesn't really need to rip it because I don't really care about the stuff being banished. But, like, if they're playing with the Scareclaw Cash Gear or any, like, deck that's splashing the Cash Gear, like the Gate Guardians, um, they'll definitely hit that. Pure Cash will not hit this at all. They don't care about Dark Law at all. Then we are playing the One Blast and the One Acid. These two are busted together. Um, you could cut Blast if you wanted to, just because you play Stratos. You want to be able to uh, to go new foot into it. But now that the Wind Statue is no longer there, um, we can just cut that if we really wanted to. You are on the two DPE. This is simply because of Cash Jira. If Cash Jira gets hit on the ban list, which we hopefully will see, we're going to be cutting down on this. Then we are playing the one Trinity uh, for our last fusion monster here. This card just helps you out to FTK, and um, I actually like this card a lot. Not FTK, OTK, my bad. You cannot FTK with this deck. That would be absolutely busted. The only FTK that you're going to be getting is Nib Token. Then for the Link Monsters, we are on the two Cross Crusaders. I play two of these because, um, well, not just is it a good generic card, as well as like being able to reborn like DPE and stuff like that. All the time that you'll see like if your opponent already ripped or you go first and you already summon a DPE, they'll actually rip the Cross Crusader sometimes if they really know like what Heroes does, um, which is why we play two of it, as well as the Wonder Driver. We only play one of these and you don't always go into it as well. But like when you look at like your best cards in the deck, these really are your best cards. Um, so like we play two DPEs, we play two Cross Crusaders, and then like you could play two of these and you know obviously you play two of these anyways um but like when you're playing against cash Gira, these are the cards that are going to be ripping um and like we just solve that problem by playing two of these and which is why we kind of want to play two of these as well but i can't fit it in as well i don't think i even own a second copy which is kind of crazy i should probably pick that up uh hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment subscribe if you guys want to see more hero content let me know and stay tuned for the uh, late 25th century duels. Stay safe. Peace.